Grab your spacesuits and hold on tight because we're taking you on a journey to the moon. That's right, NASA has some big plans in the works, and we're here to spill the beans. Get ready to explore all the juicy details on how NASA plans to build the first lunar base. We're talking about moon rocks, spaceships, and maybe even some alien encounters. Just kidding, or are we? So buckle up and get ready for a ride that's out of this world. With plans to send humans back to the moon by 2024, NASA is already hard at work designing and building the components necessary to set up a permanent moon base. Join us as we take a closer look at how NASA plans to construct this lunar home, including the kind of materials they'll need and the technologies they'll use to get the job done. We'll also explore the ways that NASA is approaching these challenges and the exciting scientific discoveries that arise from studying life on the moon. Are you ready to take a giant leap for humankind? According to NASA's plans, in just a few short years, we will be setting up camp on the lunar surface. That's right, we're building the first moon base, and the excitement is palpable. Here's a quick peek into how NASA plans to make this futuristic dream a reality. Let's go back to the origins of this plan, shall we? Before we delve into the details of how NASA plans to build a moon base, let's first talk about why we need one. Well, first of all, a moon base will provide a foothold for human exploration, and possibly even colonization of other planets in the future. Secondly, Studying the Moon in more detail can provide us with invaluable information about the formation of our solar system and the early history of Earth. And finally, a Moon base will be a testing ground for new technologies and space exploration techniques that could be applied to future missions to Mars and beyond. The idea of building a Moon base isn't new. It's been floating around since the 1950s. In fact, in 1969, NASA launched the Apollo 11 mission, which successfully landed the first humans on the Moon. However, the mission's primary goal was to conduct a scientific exploration of the lunar surface, and nothing more. The first step in achieving a moon base, according to NASA's plan, is returning to the moon's surface. This time, we're going back with a different mindset, to stay. NASA's Artemis program has mapped out a series of missions that will initiate the construction of the moon base. The first mission, dubbed Artemis 1, scheduled for 2021, will be an unmanned flight test of the Space Launch System, SLS, the most powerful rocket ever built, and the Orion spacecraft, which will carry crew members to the base. Artemis II, an SLS rocket and Orion crew vehicle test, is expected to launch in 2023. Then, Artemis III, slated for 2024, will send four astronauts, including the first woman to land on the moon, to begin building the first moon base. As we have established earlier, we've been to the moon before, but this time, we're not just going for a quick visit. In order to build a permanent base, the first order of business is to establish a human presence on the moon. NASA's Artemis program is the answer to this challenge. The Artemis program aims to land the first woman and the next man on the moon by 2024. This mission will involve the launch and subsequent docking of the Lunar Gateway, followed by sending a lander to the moon's South Pole. Yes, the moon base will be constructed in the South Pole region, which is the perfect location for a moon base. Why? It has a steady supply of water and might have some dark areas that could provide cold traps. The water could be used for drinking, farming, and even mining for fuel. Once on the moon, the lunar explorers will undertake a series of tasks, including setting up habitat modules, conducting exploratory missions, and collecting samples. This project aims to provide a surface habitat on the moon that will be known as the Artemis Base Camp by 2030. So how exactly does NASA plan to build the first moon base? Well, first of all, it starts with a series of robotic missions that will scope out potential landing sites and map the lunar terrain in detail. Once a suitable site has been selected, the first human mission will consist of a small crew who will land on the moon and begin construction of the base. Once the Artemis astronauts have created a base camp, it's time to make it feel like home. The next step is to establish the necessary infrastructure to sustain a long-term presence on the moon. NASA's plan for lunar infrastructure includes four key areas, power production, life support, communication, and transportation. The plan is to build a sustainable and self-sufficient lunar outpost, so every aspect of life on the moon must be considered. To do this, NASA will use a combination of proven technologies and cutting-edge innovations to build the first moon base. As you know, one of the biggest challenges of space missions and consequently building a moon base is the harsh lunar environment. Extreme temperatures, radiation, and fine lunar dust particles pose significant hazards to human health and the base's infrastructure. 
To combat these challenges, NASA plans to build the base mostly underground, with a thick layer of lunar soil providing natural insulation and protection from radiation. The base itself will likely consist of inflatable modules that can be deployed and assembled on the lunar surface, with a lunar greenhouse to provide a sustainable food source for the crew. Power for the base will come from a combination of solar panels and possibly even nuclear reactors. It seems like the plan for the structure is already established. So let's talk about building materials. Of course, building materials for a moon base will have to be sent from Earth and extracted from the moon itself. Using locally sourced materials would save money and decrease the need to lift so much weight from Earth. NASA is working with its partners to develop the necessary technologies that will be used to extract and use materials from the moon. One such technology is 3D printing. Raw materials from the moon, like lunar regolith, will be used to create durable structures for the moon base. 3D printing on the moon can save resources, cut costs and increase speed, allowing NASA to quickly build habitats and other necessary structures. Scientists are also researching ways to create a type of concrete using the moon's dust, called lunacrete. The human touch is an important aspect of building a moon base because it ensures that the environment is livable and welcoming for human habitation. This means that the design of the moon base will prioritize the needs and comfort of humans, rather than focusing solely on practical considerations such as functionality and efficiency. One of the ways NASA plans to incorporate the human touch into the design of the lunar outpost is by involving artists and designers in the process. By incorporating creative and aesthetic considerations into the design of the moon base, NASA hopes to create a more inspiring and uplifting environment that will help foster a sense of community among the people living there. The moon base will also be more than just a scientific outpost. It will be a stepping stone towards a permanent human presence beyond Earth. As such, it will be important to create an environment that is welcoming and hospitable to humans, so that they can thrive and live comfortably in this new environment. Ultimately, the human touch is an essential part of building a moon base, because it recognizes that humans are at the heart of this endeavor. By prioritizing the needs and comfort of humans, NASA can ensure that the moon base will be a successful and sustainable environment for human habitation and exploration. So there you have it, a quick glimpse into NASA's plan to build the first moon base. In conclusion, the idea of building a moon base is no longer just science fiction. With NASA's Artemis program, we'll soon see humans living and working on the moon. It's an exciting time to be part of the space race. Who knows what new discoveries await us once we get a foothold on the moon. It's an exciting time in the world of space exploration, and we can't wait to see what the Artemis astronauts will discover on their journey to the moon. The future is bright, and it's time to set our sights high. Are you ready? Let's go. Thanks for watching. That's all we have on one of the coolest feats of engineering and space exploration that's currently being planned by NASA. The first moon base. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more about NASA's plans for the moon and beyond, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell.